So, hey. <clears throat> okay. Take two. All right. Hey, how y'all doing? I'm Indiana, and I'm back with another toe up head and, of course, a glass of wine. Welcome to my channel where we discuss matters in adulting, and maybe I'll do a DIY or at least attempt one. Today, it's neither of those things, or at least not quite. It's an unboxing, a three-in-one, if you will. And to be quite honest, unboxing is very much adult matters because you spend your money to get those things if they're not gifts. And secondly, more than likely, if you're like me, that thing has something to do with doing it yourself. Whether you're setting up a bed frame, ooh, putting up a dresser, or something of the sort. So I went shopping on Amazon a few days ago, ordering things ooh, that have to do with film. Ooh, and today, okay, I got in the things that I ordered. So, I ordered some of the cordless mics. And I got the cordless mics as in the Bluetooth mics, because I want these to kind of, to kind of, I want these to travel with me. That's the point of these. Like when, or if ever I decide to vlog, but if I'm like out and about on the go and I decide I want to like film content on location where I am, I'll have the lavalier mic for me because I mean, I have the boom mic, the small, the mini boom mic, but sometimes that's not always practical. As in, if I'm not taking the lights with me. I like using the boom mic with the lights. And if I'm just kind of out and about filming something, I'd rather just have the tripod, the handheld tripod and my phone and now mics. Now I'm gonna test these out because right now I'm using, excuse me, the corded mic. <laughs> <clears throat> the corded lavalier mic, let me specify. And excuse me again, I literally just got off work, like always. The next thing I'm going to open up is this bag. Okay, this is a clear here. Alrighty. I got this. The very, very, very cheap version of those um, tracking tripods. This is literally one where I have to buy the triple, the double A batteries and put them in myself. This does not recharge <laughs> at all. I have to buy the batteries. And I'm not sure how loud it is or if it tracks smoothly. Like the video I saw, you know how on Amazon they have those customer or consumer videos reviews and what have you from what I saw it moves pretty smoothly and I didn't hear much but sometimes things aren't always the case so I just want to make sure how about that I want to make sure and now this I know exactly what this is I actually know what everything was but I know what this is as in to emphasize this is something I'm most excited about and I don't even know how to open this it's all sealed. It's all grammatically sealed and stuff. I don't want to just punch a hole. Let me try one more time up here. Okay. Maybe. Maybe this is going to get it. All right. I know I'm slicing the box. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
So this here is a knockoff gimbal. What? <laughs> it would help if the package was the correct way. But this is the gimbal. A knockoff one, if you will. Oh my. Smartphone stabilizer, it says. That's what it is. I got me a smartphone stabilizer. Now, before we actually open up these things, I want to talk to y'all about the wine. So, what I have here is a bubbly rosé. If you can see, I've had it for a while, but it's only lightly carbonated or a light bubbly. And as far as the color, I want to say this is almost like a pinkish copper color, a mix between the two of pink and copper. And it smells like, it smells like old cherries, a little bit of molasses. And maybe, maybe some watermelon or some. Or some other type of melon. Some other type of melon. But it tastes slightly like medicine. It's one of those wines. And that's maybe because I've had it for a while. It's, it's like a yummy cough syrup. You know the cough syrup you would give kiddos. That's not really a bubblegum flavor. Y'all, I'll be trying like to not make faces, but I'm always making faces. Anyways, it's not a bubblegum flavor. It's just a, it's a sweet tasting cough syrup. I've had a few wines like this, like kind of cough syrup, like. Now what I remember from when I had it before, like when it was fresh and it was chilled and it was slightly bubbly, I just remember it being sweet. I wasn't necessarily paying attention to the taste. Not at the time. Alrighty. So, now that we've got the wine out of the way. No, we don't. The name of this wine, it's a sparkling wine. It's called Rosado Veneto. And this wine is a product of Italy. I don't see a vintage on here. Okay, and it's only 10.5 as far as alcohol content. So it's not really that strong of a wine. I mean, of course, I could tell that. I'm gonna be so bothered if these don't work the way I want them to. I really am. All right, this is what they look like coming out of the package. Looks like it has two of the Bluetooth lavalier mics, the adapter piece and receiver. This is the uh, receiver and the part that adapts to the iPhone. And this is the charger apparently. And this is how big it is in comparison to my hand. And it comes with the charge. That's the charging port. It has the mic cover and a clip. A clip to clip on here. Okay, I'm, I ain't going to play with it. I got stuff to do. All right. <laughs> Next, I'm going to open up. <laughs> this is the Trekker. Ooh. This I'm going to use mainly for live feeds. And for live feeds for any social media. If I'm doing Instagram, well, specifically Instagram live feeds and for sure Twitch. So 
So at least those two. And then I'll say if I'm filming myself, like rehearsing, I think I'll use this one too, since it, it's supposed to track movement. So this is what it looks like coming out of the box. It's covered. It's in a bag. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Ooh. Alrighty. So at the bottom, you can open it and it has a part, the piece you can connect to a tripod. Am I doing this properly? I don't think I'm doing this pro. Okay, there it is. Almost, not quite. So there is where you place the AA batteries. And you have to twist it a little bit to take off the bottom, the cover to the bottom. It has a button, an on and off button. And I'm presuming that it automatically picks up. <clears throat> like you just turn it on. Um, okay, you also have to scan a QR code, I presume, for the app. I'll have to read the guide, but that's what I'm presuming. I'm kind of just trying to go ahead and show you what I got. And then finalmente, mira lo que tengo. Okay, I can just open this. So this one I can just open still, showing y'all the back of it. Alrighty. Ah. Okay, maybe not. Oh, okay. The side is something right here. You see this arrow, that green arrow? That green arrow telling me to pull down. So pull that down. And then you open it up from the side flap. This is type fancy. Look at that. Ooh. Now this gray is nice looking, but I would prefer to have it in black. Now it's not heavy, but it does feel weighted. As in you, you know, you feel it in your hand. And it has buttons on the side. I'll have to look at the instruction manual to see what they are for. But also buttons on the back. You can put it on a tripod. And it open okay. So I have to twist. All right. It open. Oh. Okay. I'm not sure how the phone will fit in here, but I'll figure it out. But that's literally all for today. Oh, wait. Not quite. That's not all for today. So what I'll be using this for is for when I'm filming, you know, like promos and stuff for other people, like when they want me to film their their Instagram reels and things like that for them, or when I need my own reels and such filmed, I'll, you know, I'll have my own equipment available and this will be one of them. Now, that's it for this video. And for now, because I'm going to finish off my wine and play around with my new toys and then figure out the rest of my life. Because if you didn't watch the other video, but I am in the process, well, I'm not in the process of moving, but I'm looking for a new place to stay. So I'm trying to save money. However, I'm also adding another expense and I'm deciding if my maintenance expense is what I need to cut in order to achieve that. So that video will be linked somewhere around here. Until then, bye. And of course, 
Cheers. All right. So I'm using the Bluetooth lavalier mic. This is the second one here. And the one I'm using is right here. So I'll say right now what I'm, I don't like about this one is how you see like this is a boat neck or cold shoulder, one or the other type of um, velvet, type of velvet tracksuit. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this is making it droop. If you want to compare, here's my corded one. Now you see, you see how the corded one just sits. And this one, this one's weighted and it's leaning and such. So that bothers me. I also have to wait <laughs> and see if this is actually picking up anything but I'll figure it out later right I have the the receiver in next I'm sorry if I'm popping my mouth like that but I'm drinking wine so ooh, and this is bad footage <laughs> I don't have it on the dry body anymore but I'm drinking wine <clears throat> I just got off work and I'm filming okay and y'all tell me why when I open up the gimbal tri type tripod i'm thinking it's just this no 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 i opened up the box some more and found the this here i'm not sure what it is but i'm gonna find out this part a part that just sits there and then this is the strap you know, like, oh, you know, the accessories, the stuff that I need. I think this holds the phone. In, trifling. I think this holds the phone in place. This is the holder or what have you. But anyway, I just wanted to show y'all that. I'll be back later to show y'all if this works and to see how the tripod tracker the tracking tripod works all right see ya